So can we work out where this turning point occurs? And the answer is yes we can and there's a couple of methods we can do. Uh, the first one which we'll look at in this video is through factorising. Uh, so use the symmetry of the graph to find the coordinates of the turning point of the following quadratic. So the graph we have is y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. So that's this graph here on the right. Now we want to factorise this expression in order to work out where the turning point is. So to factorise it, this is an algebraic skill, so this is covered in the algebra topics, uh, but we'll go through it here. Uh, so if we have y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2, I'm just writing it out so you can see it more clearly, uh, then we need to factorise this quadratic. And the way we do that is we look for two values which add together to give minus 3 and multiply together to give plus 2. Uh, now, factorising quadratics is a skill, uh, you have to practice it, uh, but here I can spot that if you have uh, x is, uh, sorry, x minus 1 and x minus 2, uh, then what happens if you multiply these together? Well, you get minus 1 times minus 2 is 2, and minus 1 plus minus 2 is minus 3. So if you expand out these brackets, you should get the same expression that we've got above. So let's just recap what we've done here. So we've taken this expression and put it into a factorised form. Uh, but the benefit of doing that is that it reveals to us where the roots are. Uh, so the roots are where the graph crosses the x-axis. So if we set this expression equal to 0, uh, so that's the y value of 0, uh, that means we're going along the x-axis here. Uh, so we can find out where the graph crosses. Uh, so in order to equal 0, uh, that means that either x minus 1 or x minus 2 equals 0. Uh, so therefore... Our, our values of x are either 1 or x equals uh, 2. So these are our two possible solutions to this equation, uh, and therefore this is where the graph crosses the axes here at 1 and 2. Now finally then, to locate the turning point, it says use the symmetry of the graph. Uh, well the turning point is going to come halfway between where the graph crosses the axes. So we can just take the average of these two x coordinates, so we can do 1 plus 2 divided by 2, which is 3, divided by 2, or 1.5. So, uh, we have the x value of 1.5. And now all we have to do is find the y value that corresponds to the x value of 1.5. And to do that, we can use a calculator. Uh, so, we have the expression x squared minus 3x plus 2. So, if x is 1.5, then we can do 1.5 squared minus 3 times 1.5 plus 2. That gives us a y value of minus a quarter or minus 0 0.25. Uh, so our coordinates then are 1.5 minus 0 0.25. If you found this video useful and you'd like to get some practice with turning points of quadratic graphs, we do have an online exam available. Uh, you can get there through our revision platform or you can click the link below, it'll take you straight there. Uh, so there's a variety of different questions, loads of different question types and you get instant feedback on each and every one. So this is really useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you need to improve at. Uh, as I say, if you're interested, then click the link below, it'll take you straight there.